My name is Spencer Horseman, and I was a semi-finalist on season seven of America's Got Talent. When I competed on the show, I was the youngest escape artist in the world. I pushed myself to the utmost limit that I possibly could. This looked very dangerous. We were on the edge of our seats. But my journey came to an end. Going home is Spencer Horseman. I was disappointed. I questioned myself, should I be pursuing this? Should I still keep performing? But after America's Got Talent, I was approached by Chris Angel to feature on a show called The Supernaturalist. But during one of the shows, I blacked out underwater. Yeah. To, you know, be obviously that close to death, you know, it was definitely a bit of a wake-up call. After that, I played it safe and uh, had a, a major uh, issue getting back on stage again. But when I saw Champions, I decided this is the right time to prove to myself that this is what I'm meant to do. This is easily the most dangerous escape that I've ever attempted. And everything that can go wrong has gone wrong. I was just working with my escape for the only the second time. The lid came down and impaled itself in the back of my head. My doctor advised me not to do this. But the Champions is the biggest opportunity here in my life, and I'm not going to stop now. So I'm going to shave my head, seal the wounds, and I'm just hoping it's worth the risk. Wow, Spencer, how are you? I, I've had some better days, but... Uh, oh, what? Uh, Tell me why. Uh, well, attempting this escape, I uh, bashed my head open, sending me to the urgent care, and thus putting two staples oh in the top goodness. of my head. No way. Oh, my the... goodness. <laughs> what are you exactly doing tonight, which is different from what other people have done before? So, four years ago, I debuted an escape. During one of the performances, I blacked out. I had to be rescued. Well, respect for risking your life coming back tonight. I just hope that you're alive at the end of it. Me too. This is... <laughs> We're going to see someone go in the water with a cracked open head. So where are we going to be watching it from? We have to go outside and see it. OK, cool. Let's go. I hope this works. I'm here with Spencer Horseman. You are about to do something very, very dangerous. Can you tell us what that is? I will be locked underwater. This box will be hoisted 30 feet here above the ground. I have approximately two minutes to free myself from all of the restraints. I also have to reach out through the top of the box of a smaller hole to hook into a safety line before the bottom of the box opens and drops me to the ground. What are we supposed to do after two minutes if it's going wrong? I fall. Great. Do not try this at home. OK, Spencer, go for it, brother. Fingers and toes crossed. Yeah. I actually have a bad feeling about this. Let's, yeah, say right this. Now. let's, have, let's be positive for him. His wife, Caroline, is now handing him bobby pins in order to pick the locks. Oh, no. Wow. Does he look confident to you? She need to look at her. Here he goes. Two minutes, buddy. Good luck. Here he goes. Here he goes. He's underwater right now. Boom, he's underwater. Here we go. Oh, no. Starting to get out of the handcuffs. He is being raised to over 30 feet. Remember, after 
under two minutes, the box opens as 1,600 gallons of water will flood out along with Spencer. One minute, one minute. I'm gonna be sick. Oh, me too. This is so high. Looks like he's having trouble with that padlock. No, 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 no. Oh, this sick. is too long. He's done it, he's done it. Going for that other lock. 30 seconds. Oh my gosh. Okay. okay. He's got to open the top and hold on to the safety latch. Time is running out. Oh! 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 He's doing, he's got 10 seconds. He's got to clip himself in. Oh, oh gosh. God. Yo, yo, YouTube, come on, click subscribe. You don't want to make me sad.